back. This is uh, Cooking with Dave. Today we're going to make uh, something that I feel is really delicious, really good. It's a Southwestern style chicken wrap with an Asian twist. So enjoy it and like and subscribe and we'll uh, get cooking here in a minute. All right, we're back here with Cooking with Dave and uh, we're going to make up the sauce for the marinade for the chicken. So got my chicken thighs there. Get the sauce out. For the sauce, I like to use um, some of that sweet soy sauce. Put that in there. I use about a cup of soy sauce. Yeah, about that. That looks good. All right. This is that. Uh, it's called samba sauce. It's chili paste, fresh chili paste. I use about a, well, maybe a quarter cup, like that. Not much, because this stuff will definitely uh, light your fire. Put that in there. A little bit of salt and pepper. And a little bit of the smoked paprika. Put that in there. About that. All right. We'll take that, and uh, I've got to uh, bring some to mix it with. So I'll uh, use the knife here real quick. Mix it up real quick. All right. Now the chicken thighs. I've already deboned them. I already took the skin off them, and I've already taken some of the fat off. So uh, they're good to go. So we'll just put them right in there like that. Not all of them. I put about four or five of them in there. Just like that. And uh, we'll save the rest for something else. So um, we put them in there. We'll put a cover on it. We'll put them in the uh, refrigerator for about three, four hours. And when we come back, we're going to go ahead and cook them on the grill. So uh, we'll... And uh, I got the chicken that has been marinating right here. Got them out. Get that. This, is, of course, has been marinating for about four or five hours. Actually, I did this the day before. This has been uh, probably about 12 hours now. So it's definitely going to have a lot of flavor. So, as you see. Mix them around a little bit. All right, come over here to the grill, and just throw them around the grill here. Nice little sizzle. Not many, about four or five of them. Put them on there like that. Alright, we'll let them cook up a little bit, get some uh, good color to them. And in a little bit, we'll flip them. Alright, so the sauce will be fairly easy to make. Uh, you got a little bit of sour cream. Got that bowl. Got some of that samba sauce. And a lime. Alright, just mix that up a little bit. Flip them. Alright, again, samba sauce or chili paste. About that much. A little less than a quarter cup. Again, this stuff has got a little bit of a kick to it, so you want to be careful. And then, sour cream. I use about a cup of sour cream. Yeah, about that much. A little bit of salt and pepper. And juice of one lime. The lime is going to bring out uh, the flavor. 
and it's going to uh, give a little bit of texture also. So we'll juice up one lime here. Yeah, perfect. Just like that. Now we'll use the other lime for the chicken. We'll go ahead and mix this up like this. Just like that, perfect. Mm. Yeah, we'll taste. Yep, got the nice spiciness from the chili. It's got this, um, a little bit of the sourness from the lime and that uh, tanginess from the sour cream. That's gonna be good. We'll put that on the side there. that down here. We'll be right back. See how that's doing. Oh yeah, the chicken's got some nice char on it. It's got some good flavor. Now my smoker, the pit ball smoker, all right, you can smoke and you can uh, grill and you're playing with it, all that good stuff. But it does get hot. Boy, does it get hot. You just gotta be careful. Don't burn yourself. And don't worry about that little bit of dark. That's gonna taste good. That's, there's flavor there. All right, we're gonna close this up now. I'm just going to shut it off and let it do its thing. Good then. Welcome back again. All right, we're going to start getting everything ready now for the fixings to go on our uh, tacos or our wraps, however you want to say it. Take that. That. That's the easiest way I know how to cut an onion. Just make one, uh, one side flat and then just cut it in half. And that way there you less chance of cutting yourself. Because trust me, you can do it real easy if you're not paying attention. Alright, throw this right in the trash. That. And it's always good to have a nice sharp knife. Because it cuts like butter. more for good measure. Spin around. Alright. That's done. Save this other half an onion for a uh, for some more later on. Okay. I get the onion. Tomato. We'll save the other half for later. I want to make more because I'm telling you, you're going to want to make a lot more when you after you taste this. My dad was a butcher, so he showed me how to make a sh and make a knife real sharp and keep it real sharp. Dice the tomatoes up like that. Because you can't have any kind of wrap without diced tomatoes. There's some tomatoes for us. Avocado. Twist and turn. There you go. See, how about that? Whap. Twist and turn. There we go. Get the seed out. Now, I've never had avocado before until last week, and it was fantastic. All the horrors I heard of it, 
how bad it was, all this. I never tried it, so I didn't know. But a uh, buddy of mine picked up some avocado, had me try it, and I about fell in love with it. So, I'm still not a professional like, at peeling these out, but I'm getting there. Take that, toss that away. Put that to the side for later on. That to the side. I got some uh, green scallions, green onion here. I like I like my green onions. They're they're the best. They give a little bit of flavor and they get a little bit of color. Uh, just chop them up like that. Not many. Maybe about that much. Keep that there. And a couple little sprigs of cilantro. That like that. And then gotta have some lettuce. Can't have a taco without lettuce, right? Taco Bell. Gingerly I'm not. <laughs> That like that. Put that down here for right now. Hey, you want it? I like to shred it. So again, good sharp knife. Keep it flat to the table, and just shred it like that. Really easy. It ain't rocket science. Anyone can shred lettuce. All right. Just like that, got a little bit of lettuce, got some green, got some cilantro. It's gonna be good. Got your avocado, got some onion, got some tomato. So. Let's get one of these pieces of chicken off and let's get to uh, building this bad boy. All right. Nice chicken thigh there. Another one right here. And don't worry about the dark. Dark is just flavor. Just remember that. It's always about flavor. Besides that, the dark, the extra darkness that you get there, that's going to be from the. Um, the soy sauce you put on there. Oh, if you could only smell this. It smells fantastic. A little chop up here. A little chop up there. That, that. Like that. Alright. Got that. Alright. Let's build. That down here. Alright, so clean up a little bit here so we have some room, a little bit of sauce, put that on there. Depending on how much uh, heat you like, you can put as little or as much sauce as you want on it. Me, I'm a little bit of a coward when it comes to extra heat, so I'm going to put about that much sauce on there. Going to have a ton of flavor. So. We'll add some of the chicken, which is hot still. Thank you. Put some of the chicken on there. All right. 
a little bit of uh, green onion, a little bit of lettuce, a little bit of cilantro, a couple slices of the avocado, I'm using a uh, white Vidal or the um, sweet Vidal onion, some onion, and of course, like I said, can't forget your tomatoes. A little bit of tomato. All right, let's see if I can wrap this up right. Okay. Well, put this back on the grill for a minute. While we're doing that, we'll get this stuff put aside so the flies will stay off it. Not bad, a little, couple little marks on there, not much, just wanted to firm it up a little bit. Alright, we'll take this and uh, that. There you have it folks. Southwestern style. Any farther here, gotta take a bite of it. So as you can see, got some uh, Southwestern style here. A little bit of the um, chili sauce with sour cream. And uh, let's take a bite. I'm dying to taste what this tastes like. everything. The spiciness from the samba sauce. You got the freshness from the tomatoes, the cilantro, the avocado, just everything. Crunchiness from the lettuce. Just uh, try it. Grab some chicken thighs, grab some chicken breasts if you're that type of person. Season them up. Put them on your smoker, put them on the grill, grill setting, and fire them up. But um, I haven't had dinner yet, so this is mine. Got to make your own. All right? God bless. We love you. See you next time. And remember, subscribe, like, share with your friends. Have a good one.